Alright guys, so in this tutorial series episode, we're going to go ahead and go over how to fix this issue with the wall intersections. Um, so usually for the sake of being uh, accurate in our drawings, um, we want to make sure that the uh, sort of outer layer of this wall um, is not going through this wall here because um, usually that's not how it works. Um, because we're usually we're, we're taking into account the finished material here so usually this is plaster or drywall um, and it's non-structural so it, you know it sort of goes through the it doesn't go through the uh, this outer wall here so we need to make it sort of stop here at this this point so the first step in fixing this issue is let's go ahead and remind ourselves what were the composites that were used in this wall so I'm going to go ahead and select that wall and then you can't see it up here, but I'm going to go ahead and head over to options on the top uh, bar, and it's going to open up this menu. And we're going to go to uh, composites, first of all. So let's go to composites, and then we're looking at the... Oh, so it looks like I used two different materials. So I used generic exterior material here, and then a gypsum board. So actually what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and change this... Uh, outside oh by the way we made this wall six inches so I'm just going to change that here because this wall generics is five inches I'm going to change that to six sorry about that noise guys um, and then I'm going to go ahead and change this also well here is the thing now um, so we have I think I'm actually so I'm actually using this wall on the outside as well so let me go ahead and just check that before I mess with this here so let's check this outer wall here. I am going to, yeah. So it looks like this is the same wall that we were using on the inside. Um, so let me, yeah, let me just change this to six inches. Um, yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use a different type of wall on the inside. So let me go ahead and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the, uh, the composite that I have here. So I'm going to head over to options again at the top. Um, and then I'm going to go to composites. And that's going to open up this uh, dialog box. And we are going to, we're actually going to duplicate this one. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one alone because this one is the one I'm using for the outer walls. And I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to go to new and then composite. And then I'm going to go here. And we're just going to say, um, I'm going to add the words interior here, interior, wall generic interior. Um, and then uh, the ID here is not super important, but I'll just put wall two and then we'll duplicate it. So this is the one I'm going to apply to the interior walls. So for the um, interior, we want to make sure that it's uh, gypsum board on both sides uh, as the finished material. So let me go ahead and go to gypsum board. There we go. Um, so now both sides are both just on chips board. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now you can see nothing's changed yet because uh, that's we didn't actually change the composite here for the interior walls. So I'm going to go ahead and select both of those. OK, I've selected both of those. And then I'm going to switch the composite by going over to structure up at the top. And then I'm going to go to interior. This this is the one we just created. So I'm going to go ahead and click that one. Now, once I've clicked it, um, you can see that it's automatically um, basically adjusted uh, adjusted itself and fixed itself there. And we can tell that um, this will be the case whether you have the reference line on the outside of the wall on one of the sides or whether you have it on the center. Um, however, we're getting this issue over here where the um, the interior composite or the middle composite is actually going uh, all the way to the outside here. And we don't actually want that to happen. We want the, um, uh, the exterior finish uh, material to intersect here, right? And so um, what I'm going to do to fix that um, really quickly is... I'm actually going to change the reference line on this wall to the uh, center. 
So that's going to change it to the center. It's also going to move it. Um, so if you, you know, if you take some measurements, you might want to readjust that. If you're, you know, dealing with an actual project that you, you know, you physically went and measured it already, and it's an existing, and you have to change it. So you can take care of that. Now um, we can still, we can see here that we still have the issue, and that's I believe because this is coming out way out. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it back. Um, However, that's not really what I want either. So I'm just going to select both of the walls by holding shift and left clicking. And now I'm going to head over to the top uh, toolbar and I'm going to intersect the walls and boom, um, that is fixed. Um, now let's see if we have any other issues. I think, I think that's it for this one. Um, yeah. Now let's say that didn't uh, occur. Um, let's say that for some reason um, you know, we ended up with a different situation and it wasn't really intersecting the way we wanted it to. Um, let me go ahead and just click on this generic wall over here. And then I'm just going to, I'm just going to sort of place this at random and we're just going to see what happens. Um, oh, okay. Let me see. Actually, let me, I'm just going to pick up this wall to not have this issue. I'm going to pick up the wall there. I'm just going to place that in there. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to change the composite to something different. So let's change that um, composite. Now, um, this may be the way that you want it to intersect, or it may not be the way you want it to intersect. Let's say for whatever reason we, um, you know, we, we, we don't want this to come, um, you know, all the way out. Sometimes we can fix it by just, uh, you know, taking this node and then kind of moving it. Um, stretching it right um, but you can see that, that I just I actually just dragged it over here I dragged it out but if I if I just drag it here it actually automatically just goes all the way through um, and sometimes we don't actually want that uh, happening and so um, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to options again and I'm gonna go to composites and I'm just gonna see what composites I have there so this is wall wood three uh, I'm not actually sure which wall this is this is kind of a maybe this was a bad example it's, it's got too many layers let me let me switch it over to something different maybe yeah let's let's do this one up just switch the structure to something simple and it automatically changed to masonry structural um and so what we're gonna do here let's say I don't want it to again I don't want it to go all the way through right and I want it to kind of just stop um you know when it gets here um, to the to the gypsum board um, what I can do is uh, pretty simple but if I go over here to the material and I just hover my mouse over it you can see a couple properties here to the right um, and that number that says 700 I believe is what is called the material or the building material strength or priority um, and so what this means is that the higher the number, the um, basically that means that it has priority over all the lower numbers um, so that it, it basically breaks through the material, if that makes sense. Um, but if, if I'm not explaining that, uh, you know, well enough, let me know and I'll, I'll try again. But um, let, let me go ahead and um, so I have this selected. I'll sh show you guys where to go in a second. Let's head over to options and then let's go to building materials. So normally what will happen is it'll take you to the building material that you have uh, selected for the object that you've selected. Um, and if it's a composite with multiple uh, skins, it'll basically sh highlight all of the, uh, the building materials that it's using. In this case, it's just one. And so what I'm going to do is um, I see here that um, so the, this is called the intersection priority. Um, so if I lower this number um, so that it's less than the gypsum board, so we, we, can, uh, we can go ahead and look at the, um, let me just search gypsum and then I'll go back here, gypsum board. So we can tell that, um, we can tell that this intersection priority is uh, relatively weak, right? It's 300, whereas the masonry block was 700. And so what that means is if the number is higher, if the masonry block is, is above 300, it's actually going to 
basically cut through that gypsum board. And so um, we don't want that to happen um, in, in our case. Usually structural elements will do that though. Um, that's just uh, how it tends to be in my experience. But um, let me go back to masonry. Where was it? There it is. Ah, there it is. So if I make this something less than 300, so let's say I just make it 299. So you guys see, um, let me go ahead and hit OK. And then you can see that it did not cut through that uh, that gypsum board. Um, usually, again, you won't want this to happen with this particular example, but you may encounter other situations where you might want to edit the intersection priority attribute of um, you know uh, some set of objects that you're that you're building with. Um, so that's that's how you. Uh, fix the intersection priorities if you um, yeah if you you know are encountering that issue somewhere in your projects uh, so I hope that was helpful I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because we don't need that but um, I'll see you guys in the next one I hope this was helpful